chat again on location we're at the wonderful alpha lab facilities here in east liberty uh talking to some great companies here in, in, in this in the next few weeks here uh with me i got nick lawson with squad we're going to be talking some span fantasy sports today fantasy right sports exactly awesome and of course check out everything on awesomecast.net subscribe on the itunes stitcher spreaker iHeartRadio, all over the place look for the awesome chat and the regular awesome cast as well and uh and check us out and, and look for the live uh stream when we or there tuesdays at uh, uh 7 p.m at live.awesomecast.net to join us for the general show. So, Nick, thanks for joining me today. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm excited. So, what is Squad? You know, Squad is a, is a fantasy sports platform, uh, an in-game fantasy sports platform that really brings you closer to the game. And, and when I say that, that most fantasy sports platforms, you're picking players right before the game. And during arguably the most exciting time of sports, the actual game, you kind of just become a spectator and watch stats. Uh, our goal and what we came together to do uh, over the last two, two years is really make it so that fans can uh, engage uh, more fully during that time. And we allow you to sub players live during the game uh, to have that more interaction and make those predictions while the action's happening. Now, I'm a recovering uh, fantasy sports addict myself. Okay. Um, uh, we did a lot with the, you know, the, the, the groups in, in our podcast groups and everything like that. And I, I just got burnt out on, on, on I always missed the deadline, you know, all of that kind of stuff. It, people, somebody was just messaging me the other night. Now football's on Thursday, for instance. Mm -hmm. so I was like, well, when do I start? And it just became um, too much management for yep. me, right? Uh, what are you doing to kind of relieve like that uh, uh, kind of just overabundance of 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 hands-on I guess yeah you know and that's kind of the beautiful thing about in-game each game is a new contest um, and each game is is just one through so let's say you're turning on the Warriors game Warriors Cavs uh, you're only playing for that individual game mm -hmm. uh, and that allows you to not have to go week to week not understand who you've drafted not have to watch all the games if you don't want to although we have a lot of players that play back-to-back -back games four hours straight of our game mm -hmm. um, but but that's kind of what we wanted to do is allow fans to come in on the games they really want to engage in, whether they're a fan of a certain team and that's why it's pulling them in, rather than having to go across the league uh, and, and do that time management type of thing. So um, you guys are at least like in testing phase now. What stage of the, of the process are you at building this? Yeah, so we're in our first version. Um, basically allows you to pick a player, a single player at this point, um, and gain points when they score. You can change at any time. And we're actually finishing up a pilot with the WNBA. Um, we have seven WNBA athletes that endorse our product, which has been pretty awesome. Um, and, and that phase is going great. We're having some great engagement. WNBA fans are great, very passionate. Uh, maybe not as much of them across the country as the NBA, um, but, you know, really active and avid fans. Uh, so our next rollout is the 25th uh, in Shadyside at Steel Cactus. We'll be launching our NBA product. Um, that night and, and getting people to engage on the NBA level. And, and that's October 25th, October, I, I, yeah. as of this recording. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, yeah. um, so cool. So again, it, so mostly basketball, which yeah. I actually have not done fantasy for basketball. Yeah. Is it a little different than what I'm familiar with with football? Yeah, you know, basketball's tough. There's a lot of games. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing that shied me away from hockey. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> you know, hockey, uh, baseball, and basketball are, are tough ones to get into, especially season long. So um, that's been a great uh, start for us, but also it's, it's high-paced, high paced, high you know, scoring. So you can change possession to possession and really stay engaged and interacting. So you, you mentioned it's like kind of like, can you do trades like in game during the game? Like it, it's really like if I decide I want to do this, like this afternoon's game, I can pop right in there and do it. Right. Yeah. So we, we actually have a game Friday. You should definitely, definitely yeah. check it out. But uh, the main thing is, is instead of going, you know, as a traditional fantasy, you're the GM of the team. You're picking right. players and then basically saying, I'm, I'm starting these, right? And you just but step in, back. Right, exactly. And, and, and in real sports, if if your point guard is ice cold in the third quarter, you take them out, mm -hmm. right? Um, mm -hmm. And we want to give fans that experience of being the coach of your fantasy team, right? And not really the GM. So, you know, you do have the ability to, you know, make those changes while it's happening and have that full fun experience um, and match it up with real sports. That's great. That's great. No more than just watching the numbers tick off on, exactly. on, on, during the game. Um, so, of course, we're, you're part of Alpha Lab. Mm -hmm. You're, you're here, here uh, mid-cycle, of course. Mm -hmm. um, tell me, like, what uh, kind of attracted you to this program uh, in the first place? Yeah, and we actually made the trek from Portland, Oregon. Oh, wow. Uh, we, we moved to move from the West Coast. Um, wow. You know, we... Meanwhile, everybody else seems to be wanting to go to San Francisco. <laughs> you're coming this way. Glad yeah. to have you. No, you know, it, it's awesome. Pittsburgh's up and coming. Pittsburgh's mm -hmm. a great city. Uh, we've spent some time in New York and some other places, but, um, 
you know, Jim and Aaron, uh, who are the program managers here, one, they love fantasy, so that <laughs> that's an awesome. Oh, so you part. had a little bit of an in to begin it, with. Like, yeah, yeah, it was yeah, one yeah. of the first pitch meetings where I walked in and they asked a fantasy question. I knew I knew I was in <laughs> kind of the right room. These are your people, exactly. Yeah. Good, um, good. But yeah, the program's awesome. It's great, and in, in, in a lot of individual attention. That's what we love about it. Some of mm-hmm. some of the bigger programs sometimes you don't get that huge engaged in, in attention, and you know Pittsburgh really took uh, and Alpha Lab really took the first chance on us. So uh, that's kind of what cause us to move out here and get the company going. That's awesome. And you are like in a pretty up and coming neighborhood here. It was like Google's right down the street, mm-hmm. guys like that. There's a lot of like tech kind of around just the neighborhood even. Yep. So, uh, and, and, and this is a very kind of co working kind of space as well. Yep. So, um, and how does that kind of community kind of help you out? It's, it's tremendous. Uh, we always say our, our cohort are, is very, uh, I guess, uh, engaging with each other. Uh, mm-hmm. We're always trying to help each other out. We're telling each other about events. Um, we're telling each other about, you know, if if something comes up in fantasy, I get seven or eight Slack messages from the teams here who are like, hey, I want to make sure you didn't miss this, right? Yeah. Um, and, and people have different expertises. Uh, some are tech, some are sales, some are operations and marketing. So you can really go around and say, hey, I want to bounce this off of you. Um, can I get some feedback? And you're getting feedback from somebody who's in the trenches with you, who understands you don't have a huge budget, mm-hmm. understands your constraints, as opposed to, you know, somebody from the outside kind of saying, "Hey, just pay a bunch of money on Facebook." So that that part of it is 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 hugely tremendously uh, uh, good for for our company. I'm always interested to see what stage people are in when they come in here. Where, did you have a team? Did you have something kind of build up a little bit before you came in here? You just needed to get bumped to that next level? Yeah, you know, we came in and when we gave our pitch, we basically, uh, we had started this as uh, a B2B uh, mm-hmm. with teams and kind of said, hey, teams own your fantasy experience. So um, you would go directly to like, uh, you know, Portland's team. Exactly. Know, Trailblazers, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, we worked with the Portland Winter Hawks, a hockey team yeah. uh, here or in Portland. And, and that was our first. We really made a pivot though around January to mm-hmm. make a consumer app to get this out to more people mm-hmm. um, and you know we kind of came into the meeting and said you know here's what we want to really prove uh, we want to prove uh, who we're marketing to uh, what channels are going to be best for B2C and get to a point by the end of the program where our product is out in the hands of fans and we're really getting that feedback mm-hmm. so that was you know that's that's the great thing about uh, I guess this this space is some people are just starting with an idea and getting it going other people are you know more fleshed out other people are actually gaining in revenue mm-hmm. um, and you can see kind of those phases um, but you know we we were a team of three uh, two Nike employees I worked in sports sponsorship um, and kind of came together to, to really build this product so we you know uh, we have a very strong team kind of kind of within this this cohort uh, especially on the tech side, uh, Manuel, our tech guy, is, he's a beast. So uh, I have that luxury of, of being able to say, hey, code this, and he can mm-hmm. kind of go knock it out. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. And, of course, you get to expand and see what you're missing when you look around like, hey, you know, what we're missing to go forward, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, so you guys, you know, you're, you're out there. People can get their hands on this right now, right? Yep. Yeah. So what do, what, do, what do they need to do? What's that experience like right now at this point? Obviously yeah. not the fi- finished, polished mm-hmm. thing. You're a long way from that, but but still you got something going. Absolutely, yeah. You know, uh, right now what we're uh, we have the WNBA product out. Uh, mm-hmm. You can search on the Google or, and- or Google Store or iOS Store. Um, w Player Pick uh, is that version. That'll be done uh, probably in the next two weeks, um, and then like I said, October 25th we'll have what's called Prime Time, um, and you can play in primetime NBA games, um, and you can search Prime Tie Squad and on the app stores. Uh, also, our website is www.squadapp.co. Squad is S Q W A D, and you can you know check it out and, and get links over to the new product and get your hands, get some feedback. Let us know. You didn't drop the value. You didn't do the web 2.0, Drop the value. Yeah, thing. yeah. No, it's you know it's <laughs> it's always this tough thing with startups. Now you're seeing is you you want to buy a domain and. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can't because somebody has bought in sitting exactly. on it. So uh, a way to be creative with naming companies, but uh, you know it's it's kind of an epidemic right now in the startup scene. <laughs> yeah, what 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 mouth noise can we can we get today, yeah. right? Uh, <laughs> exactly. Seems some, some of these, um, and of course, okay, fantasy sports is really highly contested. I mean, you have the Yahoos. Well, we'll see what happens with Yahoo, uh, ESPNs, things like that. I was I was sharing with the guy, uh, our, our friends on the Slack, and uh, that we were talking to you today, mm-hmm. and they were like. They were talking about like, well, is it like this or is it like, you know, ESPN does this and this really, you know, pisses me off, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, you got some stiff competition out yep. there. So, I mean, it, you know, how are you kind of aiming to, I don't know, 
go up against them, I guess? Yeah, you know, uh, if uh, we have this motto and it's written on the board, if we, if we fight them at their game, we'll lose. Yeah. Uh, and, and there's monsters in our industry, and everybody's coming up with a new fantasy platform. Right. Um, we have two things. One live is coming up. It's a fairly new thing. Uh, the tech on it is extremely hard. Stats are coming in mm -hmm. faster and faster, and we have to make sure that we you know give those points out. So that's that's kind of a nice edge uh, there. But you know, we we kind of don't like to think about competition too much. Uh, well, what our goal is to, like I said, our mission is to make sure that fans feel like they're a part of the game. Mm -hmm. So, you know, our metrics aren't really downloads. Our metrics aren't really, you know, even users per game. We focus in on two things. One, how many player changes did you make that shows that you're engaged in the game? Number two, how many times did you play back-to-back -back games? And our goal is to really build that up from more organic level. If we can do that, then, you know, marketing will work because we have a great product. If they're sticking around, the people there, then you start saying, okay, we'll expose the more people that would definitely stick around, right? Exactly, and that's, yeah, that's our overall goal right now. And it sounds like, it feels like there's a little bit of like that thing that attracts people to whenever they're watching something live with Twitter, like there is that that feedback, mm -hmm. there's, there's something, you know, like going on there and uh, that you're kind of a part of and reacting to what's on the screen. Exactly, yeah. I mean, if you really think about a fan, core down, uh, you know, we have this deep desire to predict what's gonna happen next. Oh yeah. And we make these predictions and sports are, is a beautiful game. Uh, usually we're wrong. Usually amazing things happen, and, and sometimes you're not so mad that you picked a player when that happens, right? Um, but the other side of that is the way we validate it is mm -hmm. to be right. And if I can get you to predict and have that validation of be right more times in a game, then you know, you're going to be more engaged. So that's, that's kind of our motto as we think through how we can get to sports fans is really feeding off that need to predict mm -hmm. uh, and then validate with your friends and say, hey, I was right about so-and-so scoring a game winner type thing. What's the, you talked a little bit about where you're going into kind of more immediately. What is the, uh, as much as you can say, yeah. I know strategies are important <laughs> and got to keep close to the vest wherever you can, yep. but what is the kind of um, um, long tail outlook of where you want to be in like, I don't know, six months a year? Yeah, you know, we're, like I said, we're hyper-focused in MBA uh, and that's really, you know, where we're building our niche and, and, and really growing. Um, you know, we've thought about hockey, we thought a little bit about football, but it's a very crowded space. Yeah. Um, so, you know, Kind of what we're doing is really killing it with NBA, um, growing in that sense, and then as the other sports come, making sure that that experience is just as good as the NBA. So, um, you know, hockey and soccer, I guess, are the most similar in gameplay experiences. So, you know, that that's something that we're looking at. But um, I think I think more so for us, we can we can capture a large amount of engaged fans and in, in a fairly big market. There. I just put it out there. I know it's a little weird, but I miss the old fantasy sports that we did with WWE back in the day. <laughs> like they had their own thing, yeah, you know, and nah. nothing's ever like come close. I'm nah. just saying. If, if, if fans you know, want maybe it, that's yeah. maybe that's a market, you yeah. know. So it's not being served right now, I don't think. <laughs> so uh, so thank you so much. Again, yeah. where can people find everything? And, uh, and where can people find you? Yeah, so squadup.co, like I said. Uh, follow us on Twitter at squadfan um, and, and Facebook, just search squad fantasy. Um, but mainly Twitter, we're more active on Twitter. Um, and check out, you know, what we have there and look out for those new applications coming out. There you go. Thank you so much for yeah, joining us. And check them out. Check out their app, especially if you're into the fantasy sports. If you just want to dabble a little bit, because it sounds like it's more, you know, you don't have to be diehard yep, to get into this stuff. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and also check out everything at Alpha Lab, alphalab.org. See what other crazy companies are coming up through this. It's really, really fun to see what's, what's, what's incubating here in Pittsburgh. I feel horrible just using that word. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, thank you so much to my awesome guests. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.